A local family's charity brings joy to children with cancer as a way to honor their loved one. This week's West 2 Community Champion is Rosie's Adventures. So Rosie was such a sweet and fun child. She was born not 40 weeks, no medical issues at all until she turned around three. That's when Rosie's health took a turn. She started getting sick a lot and her pediatrician just thought it was where we were taking her because we were taking her to the theme parks and like a lot of kid places. And it took about six months to be diagnosed with cancer. In 2018, the Ramirez family's world was turned upside down. Jose and Nikki couldn't believe what they were being told. My husband and I were in shock. We heard what the doctors were saying, but we didn't, it didn't really process. Rosie was diagnosed with stage four neuroblastoma. So Rosie um, had a three and a half year battle with cancer. She had just turned seven. About a month after she turned seven is when she passed away from cancer. It's the most traumatic thing that's ever happened to me. It's something that I'll never get over, but I can try to turn it into a positive, like the way she lived her life, to trying to live my life the way she did. The Ramirez family is making sure Rosie's spirit lives on through Rosie's Adventures, a charity the family founded to bring joy to children battling cancer. The hospital stays are really boring for the kids and not fun, so we are all about toys and having a good time. Rosie's little brother, John Luke, helps stock the supplies. What is this, Mommy? So we deliver large care packages to the kids when they're admitted to the hospital, and it's full of toys that they're interested in. We always check with their parents to find out the latest toys they like and the characters they think are fun. These deliveries have a much greater impact. It brings my soul so much peace. It really does to know that I'm making these kids a little happier on their journey. They also organize events to create lasting memories for families. We're doing a private screening of the new Despicable Me 4 movie for the kids at the theater so they, they can have a safe environment to watch the movie and have fun. And people in Central Florida are backing the mission. As a mom who watched her daughter battle cancer and lost her daughter to cancer, it brings my heart so much warmth to see the community step up and rally around us and help support us and support those kids that are battling cancer because it's really hard when your child's diagnosed. You feel like you're on your own little island. That dedication to bringing joy to children battling cancer as a tribute to Rosie is why we call Rosie's Adventures a West 2 community champion. It's such an honor. I'm doing this just because I want to help other kids because I was on that journey, but it's such an honor to be recognized and to have not only the spotlight on what we're doing, but on pediatric cancer. Just beautiful to see their work. And joining us now is John Bustecker, who's put together an event to raise money for Rosie's Adventures. Good morning, John. Hey, Jason, how are you? Uh, it's great to see Good you to as see always. You. Good yeah. to see you. Yeah, yeah. Well, welcome back to West 2. Thank you, I yeah. used to work here. It's been a while, though. Face. Yeah, and now you're working on this great charity event to support Rosie's Adventures. And you know, you look at their mission, you see the work that they do. I mean, it feels like an easy easy thing to get behind, but why did, why did you guys want to support this charity? So yeah, I work at the Just Call Mo and the DeWitt Law Firm, and Mo DeWitt, the attorney at the law firm, he knows Nikki. They used to work together. Yeah. He was a public defender. She worked in the state attorney's office. Yeah. This was years and years yeah, and years ago. Yeah, she told me that, they, that she was a prosecutor, so they were, you know, up against each other yes, battling they it were. out in court. they were, but they've known each other for yeah. a long time, and so we do a lot of community events at our law firm. Yeah. We do a, a comedy jam. We're doing this bowling event, and so we always do something for charity, and so because they knew each other and because uh, Mo wanted to do something for yeah. a local charity, it just just sort of fit. It fit yeah. perfectly, and so we we chose this one because it's such a great cause. Yeah, it was it was beautiful to hear Rosie's mom, Nikki, talk to me about it and said, you know, Mo, they built this friendship even mm -hmm. though they were competitors in a courtroom. And when Rosie began her battle, and then when Rosie passed, Nikki said, Mo just was like, how can I help? Yeah. What can we do? And so here we are with the Just Call Mo Celebrity bowl o rama <laughs> <laughs> What a name they came yeah, up with. Yeah, yeah, no, we wanted to do something fun. And so this is at the Oviedo Bowling Center, yeah. which is obviously out in Oviedo. Yeah. And uh, July 13th, Saturday, it's an afternoon event. 
Yeah. And we have uh, 24 celebrities on 24 lanes. Yeah, and we got to say, you're going to see some faces that you watch right here on West 2 News. Who are we talking about? Uh, Jason Guy. Way! <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> but, I didn't uh, know I'm going to go. Yeah. Michelle Imperato, uh -huh. uh, Stuart Moore, awesome. all three of you are going to be there. You're, I'm you're not going to bowl? Uh, I'm not going to be too busy doing okay, stuff, I right, think. Right. I don't know if I'm a celebrity hey, either. And, and our very <laughs> local app features a guy, you know, Brendan O'Connor. He's going to be out there. He'll be out there as well, yeah. I'm not sure between you, uh, Michelle, and Stuart who's going to be the best bowler. Oh, I, I'm not oh, sure. No. John brought some trophies. Mm -hmm. and th these are things, like, John, let's talk about this in this big trophy. Is this the winner? Yeah, this the, is going to be the winning okay. trophy. Best team. Uh, so. right, there's a trophy on the ground that's so small you can't even <laughs> see it. This one, what is this one? The Oh, needs most improvement. I feel like this is the one I'm taking home. Yeah, that's the nice way to say worst bowler, but it's need, needs that's most me. improvement. That's me. Yeah. Um, and, and then if you you don't bowl or you didn't buy your tickets now, the bowling part sold out. Sold but, out. Within like three days, it yeah, sold there's out. There's still other stuff for us. Yeah, like yeah. John. so because it's at the pinball lounge where you can yeah. play all the pinball you want, we have pinball tickets. So for 15 bucks, you can come out, watch you and Michelle and Stuart bowl, uh -huh. uh, cheer you on, but also you can play <laughs> pinball, hang out. It'll be a ton of fun. Yeah, it's going to be a great time. And uh, obviously, John, we've got info to the event online. T tell us the website and then we'll post it on WESH.com too. You just got to go to justcallmo.com slash bowling and you can get tickets. Yeah, and on our website, we also have information about how you can get involved with Rosie's Adventures. John, great to see Good you. To Thank see you. you. Oh, I'll... wait, I got my oh, shirt yeah, I too. I got your shirt too. Here Thank you, go. you. Here we go. Yes. You'll, you'll be ready. For the bowl o -rama. <laughs> We'll see you there. And you can nominate those with the track record of giving back in Central Florida for a WESH 2 Community Champion Spotlight. Email us your details about your nominee to communitychampion at WESH.com. They can be featured right here on WESH 2 News.